Good morning. How's everyone feeling? We've been in full moon energy since um, two days ago. Anyone having crazy dreams, you guys? It's full moon in Pisces, which is tomorrow. Oh my gosh. It's been um, uh, frustrating energy, stuck energy. I haven't felt very emotional. I felt, I've been feeling more stuck, like hazy, brain foggy. Does that make sense to everyone? Like you need questions, you need answers, you want clarity, but you just can't put your finger on something, but you know something is up. Yeah, crazy dreams. So guys, write them down, okay? When the moon is in Pisces, a full moon in Pisces, your third eye is gonna be very open. It's a great, it's a great couple days, um, so until the 13th, to practice divination, to write down your dreams, to um, meditate and connect with your guides. If you're a medium, it's a great time to um, connect with spirit. All right, so make sure you're writing down your dreams, you guys. It's It's been crazy. Um, connecting with water, guys, during full moons, you are very open. So if you are not cleansing your energy through water, all right, cleansing your energy through water. If you are not taking a salt bath this weekend, change that up and do it. <laughs> all right, ground your energy through water. Um, I actually have been meditating in water and it's been a whole new experience, you guys. Um, I highly recommend it, meditating in your bath. Uh, it I've never had clearer visions, clearer messages coming through. So if you guys are having trouble connecting with your spirit guides or um, trouble uh, using your gifts or connecting with your spiritual gifts, Water is a great um, gift opener, okay? It'll make the process much easier. It also helps you relax, and when you're relaxed, it's easier to tap in. All right. Uh, I would use Himalayan sea salt. Himalayan sea salt or sea salt. Don't use iodized salt. All right. Um, also, full moons are all about release, okay? So... As always, make sure you're writing down your release list, what you are finally done and done with, okay? Um, and then also do your manifestation tracking. If you have, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to March 2nd, three days before, three days after when we had the new moon in Pisces. Look at what intentions you wrote down, okay? What you wanted to manifest through the next lunar cycle. So those manifestations should be coming now. All right. The full moon is tomorrow night, but we have been in full moon energy since the 7th. Okay. But let me know if you guys find this helpful, um, this uh, full moon information, how to work with the energy. Let me know if you find it helpful. Hey, Tabitha. Tabitha, did you get the email about the candle workshop? I just sent it out. Okay. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Good. I'm glad you guys found it helpful. I'm really glad. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. I actually made effort for you guys and I straightened my hair. <laughs> ah, it only took me like two days after I washed it, but I did straighten it for you guys. I got my lashes done this week. I got my nails done this week for y'all. I'm ready. I'm ready. But anyway, 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 anyway. The, today or every Friday. Oh, so today or every Friday for anyone who's new, I do the weekend reading. Okay, so you guys loved this last time so or last week. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so I'm going to pull tarot and then I have um oracle decks next to me so I'll do each individual day so if you guys are um in a space where you can take notes I highly suggest you take notes um 
Or uh, what I would suggest if you're unable to do that is go to the link in my TikTok bio and check out the Holistic Wellness Soul Family. It's my membership group. Um, so you can watch all the replays and there's specialty readings in there as well. So you can go back, rewatch, take notes and see and track what's happening. Okay. Um, but anyway, let me know who's new and who's returning. Who is new and who is returning? Megan, it's only, the energy exchange is only 22, 22 a month. Oh my gosh, I love it. I see so many returning and new. It's like an even split. I love that. Well, <laughs> welcome everyone who's new. Welcome back everyone who is returning. My name is Jacqueline. I'm the Holistic Siren. And on my channel, I help you guys embrace your most authentic self through physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. I am a tarot reader, Reiki master, natural born psychic medium, integrative nutritionist. And <laughs> this is a new thing I'm sharing with you guys, practicing fire witch. Okay. So I do work with the element of fire. I do a lot of candle work and candle magic and work with the elements of the earth. Okay. Um, so I guess on my channel, I help you guys embrace your inner magic. So if you guys like that, let me know. Um, I've actually been very scared to share my more witchy and magical side because I have my own fears of judgment and things like that. Um, but hey, it's part of who I am. So here I am, world. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, so <laughs> every morning, guys, we do have a 50K like goal as a collective, as our soul family. Okay, so please tap, tap, tap the screen to like the live. Um, it just shows me some love and it does really help me work with this algorithm. All right. And if you do feel called as well, you can share the live if you're liking the message or if you just want to share my energy with the collective, you can hit that little um, arrow button. Um, and that also helps me out as well. All right. Um, but I'm already like I'm feeling very activated right now, like third eye. Um, full moons in Pisces always open me wide, wide up. Um, so I'm really excited to pop into this for you guys. All right. But let me know, guys, who is um, who's embracing like their inner magic, their inner witch, their inner manifester, uh, manifester, witch, whatever are synonymous terms that which means they mean the same thing. OK. Who has been embracing their inner magic, their inner witch, their inner manifester? Yeah, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So if you guys like my energy, um, if you're feeling in alignment with me and you don't follow me already, I humbly ask for a follow because again, it does help me um, build my channel and help me reach more people. Okay. So I can help other people embrace their inner magic and their most authentic self. Okay. But I'm big on interaction guys. So comment ready if you are ready for the weekend reading. Okay. So September 9th to September 11th. And guys, 9-9 nine, nine today. Who's been seeing 9-9 nine, nine a lot? One door closing, another one opening. Beautiful. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to do each day individually. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we're going to start with Friday, all right? So uh, God's first universe, divine, creative all things. What do we need to know about today? Okay, Friday. If you're watching this on YouTube, the message is timeless. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, because um, I post the replays on YouTube, you guys. Um, but also, if you're here watching live, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I've got a lot of people in here, so I'm going to try and hit all the marks. But let's see. God's first universe, divine, creative all things, only for our highest and best and through your divine love and light. What do we need to know about today? What can we expect about, ooh, whoa. King of Cups. Okay, so we've got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We've got that water energy. Um, what I really like about the King of Cups for us, ooh, and the Emperor, um, mind and heart are, are in alignment, okay? Regardless of what's going on in your environment, you're not letting anything shake you. All right, Eight of Wands, wow. And then Two of Pentacles. Okay, 
So the Two of Pentacles um, is saying you guys are really kind of weighing who and what belongs in your life because there are certain things like in your career, in your relationships, maybe in your health and wellness routine, okay, maybe in your finances where you're like, uh, I think I need to get rid of this, get rid of that. I need to clear up some things so I feel more balanced, okay? So I feel like you guys have an urge to get rid of stuff, like old stuff. Like uh, an example would be if you're going through a breakup um, or if you're grieving a breakup, whether you're with the person or not, you're like, I need to get rid of shit, okay? Like physical, tangible things, clothes, pictures, letters, cards, maybe even like little knickknacks and stuff like that. It's like a big clearing, a big purge of like physical things that are old that you no longer need. Um, I feel like this is also like consideration of like changing careers, um, changing businesses, changing projects. Maybe should I stay in this relationship or not? Um, should I keep this or should I move? <coughs> <coughs> Should I say this or not? <coughs> All right, hold on. <coughs> Whoa. Oh my God. Wow, sorry. I, guys, I've been drinking water all day long. I really have. I swear to God. I mean, all morning long because it's not, the day is barely done, but I, that was weird. Um, so I feel like there's communication coming in today, um, which makes a lot of sense because we're in a nine, nine day. It's also Mercury retrograde starts today. <laughs> Woo. Honestly, Mercury retrograde is not that big of a deal. Um, it's not a long transit. It's only three weeks, you guys, but this Mercury retrograde, um, from now until the 23rd of September, I'm looking at the calendar is transiting through the sign of Libra, okay? The sign of balance, the sign of balance, the scales, okay? Also ruled by Venus. So relationships are a big time focus, but it's also, yes, relationships, yes, X is coming back, yada, yada. But it's also re the relationship you have with yourself, relationships um, you have with family members, friends, things that need to be reviewed, revised, released once and for all, especially because Mercury retrograde is kicking off in full moon energy. Okay. Um, so I feel like communication coming in regarding like you having to really weigh like, does this belong or does it not? All right. So King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio, uh, yes, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, um, the Emperor Aries energy, which is interesting because believe it or not, Aries and Pisces are really complementary signs. We got that fire water energy going on. Actually, my best friend of almost 30 years is a Pisces and I love her to death. Um, and then eight of wands. Okay. I just heard making an executive decision. Okay. I feel like you guys today, you are making an executive decision for your life again, because I feel like this two of pentacles, you've been in this energy of like weighing who belongs, what belongs, should I move, should I not, and move like, should I move on from this person, should I physically move where I live, should I move on from this job, you get what I'm saying, what are you guys moving on from, I wouldn't be surprised if it was multiple areas of your life, all right, but the king of cups is a balance of head and heart. Like you're able to look at things objectively without letting your mind or your heart get in the way, without letting your thoughts or your emotions take over. It's like having a healthy balance. Okay. The emperor, this is making a decision strictly based on you. Okay. Because the emperor represents Aries, the self. Eight of wands, making a very swift decision when communication comes in. This communication could be um, unexpected, could be from an Aries Leo Sag, or it could just be very fiery, very passionate, or very angry communication, okay? Um, I also feel like the decision you're making is swift. It's going to be like, I feel like if you guys have been needing or asking for clarity around a big decision in your life, it's... The clarity is coming in today and you're going to be like, that's it. That's the decision I need to make. But let's clarify. 
Guys, keep tapping the screen to like the live. Um, we've got a 50K like goal, guys. Keep tapping. Keep tapping the screen. Ten of Wands. We got more Aries, Leo, Sag, more fire energy. Guys, who's working with fire energy here? I I swear to God, like the... <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> There's a reason why I'm bringing this up, and I know I know you got my regulars are tired of hearing me talk about this, but who here is working with fire energy? Candle work, maybe? Getting really into it. I just, I actually just started burning a new candle today. Five of Wands. There's a lot of fire energy. And then the Hermit. Six of Swords. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, y'all know I just well you heard me talk about I'm a fire witch. Um and I actually today I was going to close out my candle magic workshop series, um the enrollment because um I hit the number at, for enrollees cuz I didn't want to have too many people. But spirit came through today and was like mm, like maybe you should make some more space because not everyone's going to be able to attend the live sessions. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me right now? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Um, so if anyone is interested in hearing about my candle magic workshop series, it's launching on the 22nd um, of this month and it has, it's four workshops per month. Um, but anyway, anyway, you guys can let me know, comment candles if you're interested in hearing about it after the reading. But anyway, um, six of swords. I feel like there's some sense of mental freedom. There's some sense of mental freedom coming in today. Like being able to move on from something or someone that has been on your mind for way, way, way too long. All right. Now, this could be someone you have children with. This could be moving on from inner child wounds once and for all. All right. Um, this could also you actually making the executive decision to move, physically move away from someone who is abusive or toxic or a, an environment that is toxic. Like you can have a toxic work environment, home environment, whatever else. Okay. Um, but 10 of wands, five of wands and the hermit. Um, some of you guys have been already, or you're going into hermit mode. Um, maybe you guys have been thinking about going into hermit mode. Maybe you are considering calling out of work today. Um, I would recommend doing that. Like this full moon in Pisces is about literally just letting things happen as they happen. Okay. Just seeing how things pan out. They're, like you got to release control here. That's probably why the Aries energy is coming in. All right. Um, there could be some arguments happening today um, around you releasing responsibilities that were not really yours to take on. So I feel like a lot of you guys, you're releasing mental stress, a lot of mental strain because you're no longer taking on responsibilities of other people that are not yours, taking on extra work that is not giving you any positive results, just draining your energy. Okay. This would have been something that you were conflicted about or someone or a couple people are like, well, why are you not doing this for me anymore? The hermit, because you need to conserve your energy. You know that you taking on responsibilities or doing work for other people, taking on the healing for other people is a trauma response. Okay. You guys are no, you guys are really assessing like what you're doing out of like true positive intention versus doing something because it's an inner child wound. It's a trauma response. Okay. Does anyone else's head hurt? Like, um, do you guys feel heaviness in your head? It's not like a headache. It's like a heaviness, like a fogginess. Three of Wands. Page of Swords. There's the communication coming in that you've been seeing. Interesting. There's the Five of Swords. I said the toxic person, the toxic situation, the narcissist. Um, the Five of Swords um, and then the Magician. 
the magician is saying as above, so below. So if anyone has been trying to manifest um, communication from someone, could be manifesting today. Or part of something that you are manifesting requires that you let go of this person. Let go of the old, make way for the new. Yes, this is collective, okay? Um, but the magician is, is a is a promise of manifestations coming through. It's just you have to believe that they will, okay? Three of Wands, Page of Swords, Five of Swords. Um, it's like you guys today, maybe you're exploring, learning, researching. I'm getting a lot of research. Researching, using the resources at your fingertips, meaning like Google, YouTube, books, stuff like that. You're researching things that you're passionate about, um, that you want to manifest into something like a passion project, a new career, a business, take it as it resonates. Um, but it has something to do with leaving this person, this toxic person, toxic situation, leaving your ego at the door. And this is just for today, guys. I haven't even gotten to Saturday and Sunday. Um, if you missed the full moon reading, guys, it is posted in the Holistic Wellness Soul Family. Um, the link is in my TikTok bio if you guys would like to join the membership group. <laughs> All right, so um, this is my Rebel Oracle deck. So for Friday, fuck fear, it will lie to your face. Fuck fear, it will lie to your face. Yeah, it's like, don't let your ego prevent you from stepping into your future. The three of wands, guys, that is plans coming to fruition. Like you starting to see manifestations coming in and it has something to do with what you've already put energy into. You do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. You do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. I feel like that's why you guys are going into hermit mode. Drop the fucking ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. Drop the fucking ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. I feel like this is dropping your timing. Um, embracing divine timing. Um, guys, who, whatever situation or whatever person sparked a spiritual awakening, I feel like there's some closure coming in. It might not be, it might be uncomfortable though. An uncomfortable conversation today. Okay. So this is my green witch oracle deck. So we have pumpkin, which I love because we're getting close to fall. Pumpkin, this uh, stands for productivity. It's card number eight. Eight is the number of abundance and wisdom. Let's see. Your hard work, planning, and experience should be paying off now. And there is reason to keep going with what you are currently working on. Additional resources can be safely used and there is indication of a promotion, windfall, or increase of some sort. What did I say? Promise of manifestation. Okay. And you should start to see your manifestations coming through regarding something you've put energy into. Okay. Something you're passionate about. The three of wands. Ships coming in for you. So what ships are you expecting to come in, guys? Let me know in the comments. Um, there are good energies surrounding health and also fitness. Although challenges will include failure to keep these at their optimum through neglect. The themes of pumpkin are healing, abundance, guidance, fertility, and love. That's pretty freaking cool. Um, <clears throat> and then I have one more deck to pull from. Let me, know, um, let me know if you guys are having fun, by the way. Are y'all having fun? I always like to make sure you're enjoying your experience with me. Uh, 
message for today. <laughs> Didn't I say who's embracing their inner magic? We got witch on the bottom of the deck. I love this. Okay, so we have owl. What didn't I didn't I say the number eight wisdom? Okay, owls represent wisdom spiritually. And seeing the unseen, seeing in the dark. Okay, so let's see. Um this is card number 27. So again, another nine. All right, so the owl, owl has called because you are one of the great keepers of wisdom, even if you don't know it yet. You have knowledge and experience that others need. Did I not say sharing your story? Something that, some toxic situation, um, toxic mindset, toxic relationship, whatever. You guys learning how to share your story or manifestation of it's like turning your pain into passion, if that makes sense. Um, you have something to share with the world, a voice that must be heard and healing that must be shared. This is a natural path for you. As the saying goes, when the teacher is ready, the student will appear. You're being asked to expand your spiritual knowledge in the realm of the owl, the night. Some quiet messages and signs wait for you in the unknown void where light is not present. This message is amplified. Oh, we haven't pulled another card. Do not be afraid of what you cannot see. Trust in the other senses to pick up the load when your eyes are not enough. So this means, um, I feel like a lot of you guys are getting into learning how to embrace your gifts. Two, two, two in the live. Two, two, two in the live. Confirmation. Let me know in, in the comments, guys, who here is trying to learn more about their gifts, their spiritual gifts. So full disclosure, you guys, um, I will be teaching how to tap in and develop your spiritual or your psychic gifts through candle work in my workshop series. So, um, before I get into Saturday, guys, can can you guys um, comment candles for anyone who is interested in joining the Candle Magic Workshop Series? It's uh, four workshops, September, October, November, December. Okay, so it'll be for the Fall Equinox, um, for Halloween or Samhain, and then November and December. Okay, cool. You guys are going to hear my puppy whining a little bit. Okay. So for everyone who's interested in the Candle Magic Workshop and you guys want to check it out, I do have limited space available. I did increase the enrollment for five more people um, because I was called by spirit to do that today. So if you guys would like to join, um, all you have to do is go to the link in my TikTok bio. It's the link right below my profile picture. And you'll see a link on my link tree that says enroll in the Candle Magic Workshop series. Um, if you're serious about it, guys, it's been filling fast. So I suggest you go take care of it ASAP. Okay. But anyway, Who's ready for um, the Saturday row? Comment ready. Who's ready for Saturday, the Saturday row? Okay. So this will be a, the full moon row because the full moon is tomorrow. All right, so God, source, universe, divine, creative all things. What do we need to know about tomorrow, Saturday? King of Wands, we got more Aries, Leo, Sag energy. There's a lot of movement this weekend, you guys. Wow. Um, Nine of Wands, more fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, Boundaries might be crossed. You guys may have to protect your energy from an Aries Leo Sag. Six of Wands. I mean, six, sorry, Six of Swords again. Okay, second time. 
And seven of wands, there it is. Boundaries being crossed, y'all, all right? Um, I'm getting like jealousy vibes. Um, I feel like a lot of you have stepped into your power. A lot of you have stepped out of your comfort zone and you're pursuing unorthodox areas of spirituality, unorthodox career paths, businesses, or doing things that are unorthodox um, comparatively to like your family, your friends, like you're breaking the mold, right? You're like setting your own standard. Seven of wands and you're, you're being successful at it, right? Or this is you achieving a certain level of success with regard to getting a, a job in a leadership position, having business success, or just being successful and like owning who the fuck you are and taking action on things, doing things that you love, um, that people may have judged you for, or you felt people have judged you for. I feel like Saturday you're saying, you're like saying, fuck it to judgment. This is me. Here I am. Seven of wands though. Um, again, I was talking about unexpected communication with the seven of wands. Um, or on Friday, this is like someone coming very fast and trying to cross a boundary with you. So what I would say is if you guys are not doing this already and we're in full moon energy, guys, people are very emotional. Emotions are heightened. Mars went retrograde. Okay. It's Mars and Gemini for seven months, right? So what does that mean? A lot of angry or passionate communication, people flying off the cuff, just saying whatever, you know, without always thinking about it. So make sure that you, number one, protect your energy. Make sure you understand what your boundaries are and stand firm in knowing that you deserve the success and abundance that you are receiving. Okay. Now the King of Wands, Aries Leo Sag, Nine of Wands, it could be someone, Aries Leo Sag, who has drained your energy, energy vampire. Um, or you guys just need to give yourself a fucking break on Saturday. Okay. Nine of Wands is a card of burnout, all right? Been putting a lot of energy into manifesting your vision, King of Wands, um, but it's it's burning you out mentally, okay? It's burning you out mentally. So I feel like tomorrow you really need to take a break. Reclaim your energy. Like I said, stop forcing things, especially with the full moon um, being in Pisces. Pisces is about going with the flow, okay? Just seeing what happens, letting the universe do its thing. Divine timing, not your ego timing. If you guys feel like you're forcing shit, take a step back and don't do anything, okay? A lack of act, lack of doing something is an action, Resting is an action, all right? Six of swords, you need to give yourself a fucking mental break. Some of you have an Aries Leo Sag on your mind. Um, I feel like this person could have control over your mental state um, or control over your thoughts. And you guys are like, oh my God, I'm so fucking tired. It's like you guys are trying to distract yourself from thoughts about a specific person or situation and it's not helping. So why isn't it helping? You either have to journal about it or you just have to let the thoughts come. Okay, you've got to accept that the thoughts are there. Let them flow so you can release them. Also, um, I feel like the good news you're getting today, Friday, is going to, it's almost like you're going to give yourself permission to take a break tomorrow. Does that make sense? Yeah, you guys really need to, you really need to relax. Six of Wands, guys, there's a lot of fire energy here. Holy crap. Six of Wands, yeah, you, there's some, you guys are reaching some level of success. What are you guys trying to succeed at? Two of, um, two of Cups. Okay, so this could be um, a new job opportunity. This could be success in overcoming some difficulties in a relationship. Ace of Wands, wow. Um, and then Queen of Pentacles. Guys, this is really more about you. There's some level of business success coming in. Big time. Big fucking time. Sorry, I just want to look at the cards and just kind of feel out what's, what's coming through. Joy and happiness. Trying to get... Right. Yes, yeah, some of you have really worked diligently in like moving away with a child or saving a child or 
Um, you've done a lot of work in healing the inner child and reclaiming your power, especially over someone who disempowered you. Um, but bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles. Um, again, Queen of Pentacles for tomorrow, Saturday. It's it's like so tomorrow you guys are gonna be in this energy of everything's okay. Everything's in balance. My career, my energy, my finances, my home life. I feel at ease. That's what I'm getting. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles is also a sign of um, achievement. Okay. You've achieved a certain level of financial success because of work put in, because of lessons learned. Um, yeah, guys, there's some success because you decided to pursue a dream. A passion. Three of swords, but you had to have your heart broken one too many times for you to understand that you had to focus on something else. There's that five of wands again. I told you some arguments, some people coming at you. The chariot could be family. This is cancer energy, so it could be a cancer. It could be Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then Four of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, this is someone that you never thought would approach you. Yet you guys are moving on from... Tomorrow, I don't know what it is about tomorrow. It's a very healing day. There is a lot of emotional release, three of swords, okay? There is emotional release. But with the three of swords, you know that it's temporary, okay? The heartache is temporary. Um, yeah, you guys are no longer conflicted about needing to move on from whoever or whatever broke your heart. No more waiting. I feel like this is acceptance of you're not waiting around anymore. You're not waiting around anymore. It's almost like you've been, you've been having this inner conflict about moving on from someone that broke your heart because maybe there was some false hope there or hope that it would pan out, work out. But it's like, I feel like maybe you're getting news tomorrow that's going to help you move on fully. But yeah, you're no longer waiting to move forward. That four of cups is also saying be, be grateful for um, the challenges, the obstacles, the pain, the heartache. Because it, you would have never up-leveled. You would have never grown. You would have never stepped into your rebirth fully if you weren't pushed through heartbreak. That was the push you needed. Some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. I told you. I told you guys. Tomorrow you're going to be like basking. Like, oh my gosh, like confirmation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Your heartache made you stronger. Your heartache made you stronger. Um, for anyone who's asking about the five of wands meaning, the five of wands can mean um, pettiness, petty conflict. But with the other cards surrounding it, to me, it's like your heartache made you stronger. It made you more resilient. So now you can move on. Whoa. <laughs> Shame, regret, and guilt. Those are all bullshit. Forgive and let that shit go. I told you guys. Is that is this resonating, guys? Like, it, it, did I am I not hitting the mark? Can you tell me if I'm hitting the mark? Because holy moly. Well. Thank you for whoa, thank you for the information. <laughs> Put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. I've been feeling this. I felt that yesterday. Um, I felt that a lot yesterday. Um, 
disconnect from social media, guys. What did I say? Protect your boundaries. Guys, when you look at social media and you're absorb you're absorbing other people's energy. Okay. Um, I feel like some of you need to put the fucking phone down too, because you need to stop checking in on this person or stop checking your email. It, when the news is coming, when the letter is coming, the confirmation is coming, whatever it is, like it's in divine time, beloved. If you keep looking, you're not trusting and then you're blocking. Okay. If you keep looking, you're not trusting, then you're blocking. Mic drop. Can't make this shit up, you guys. Can't make this shit up. Put your fucking phone down. That asshole is not worth it. I do private readings, yes. Passion. I've been saying this word, you guys. Passion. Like, all right. And then a second card came out. Abundance. Abundance coming because you pursued your passion. Did I not say this, you guys? What the fuck? Whoa. Let me get my guidebook. Let me get my guidebook. You guys, you know what I'm doing tomorrow, which is so funny. Put the fucking phone down. So um, I horseback ride and I haven't gone in a very long time, but I absolutely love horses. So I'm going horseback riding tomorrow. But the, the stables I go to, you are not allowed to have your phone on the horse. You cannot have your phone on the horse at all. Put the fucking phone down. Confirmation. Okay. Um, for everyone who's asking if I do um, paid readings in the live, I do. Um, if you would like to get on my list now, because I only take a limited number of people, the energy exchange is $33. Cash out PayPal Venmo, the link is in my TikTok bio. Um, the list fills up fast, so if you want to do it, do it now. Um, anyway, so passion. Okay, passion, beat root. This is heart chakra. This is collective, yes. Okay, so the passion card says, look at the core of what usually motivates you for direction and a lifting of any negative energies because a focus on self-love and developing a better understanding is needed. Beetroot supports your heart chakra and will show you that new projects, personal goals, and emotional healing are all in positive light. What did I say? Overcoming the chariot, successfully overcoming temporary heartache um beetroot supports your heart chakra and will show you that new projects personal goals and emotional healing are all in positive light with a chance of success challenges include family disagreements what did i say family disagreements five of wands um and getting stuck on the superficial Getting stuck on the superficial. Okay. Then the second card we have is abundance. Abundance. Who likes that? We like to see that. Uh, 23. Guys, um, the 23rd is when Mercury, uh, Mercury retrograde transitions out of the sign of Libra into, um, into Virgo. Um, Mark that date. There's something about September 23rd. Abundance coming in September 23rd for you guys. Please mark that date um, in your phone. Just put it like the holistic siren, abundance coming in this day. Because Virgo's an earth sign. There's something about tangible abundance. Maybe you guys want to make, have you guys been like craving grapes or beets? There's something about craving a specific type of plant, um, fruit or vegetable. Or you guys need to eat more fruit. Um, anyway. Sorry, guys. Like I said, when the full moon is in Pisces, my third eye is like very active. Very, very active. Oh, and the 23rd starts Libra season. Okay, so maybe there's something about that. Anyway. So... The meaning of the abundance card. 
is stay where you are and grow what you need there as this is a fertile time and place. Grapes will indicate that magic is about, especially from the garden. So get out there as you will find opportunity and inspiration. Family stability, happiness, and tradition, and the way they can support you are all things that should be remembered and implemented. Don't be disingenuous and be very care careful eh, not to cancel appointments. So the themes of this card are fertility, wealth, mental strength, garden magic, and abundance. Whoa. Whoa. Um, what's really interesting, you guys, is um, on the 22nd, which is the first date, which is the equinox, and the first day of my candle magic workshop, I'm doing um, abundance magic. So if anyone would like to join the candle magic workshop and learn how to magically manifest abundance through candle magic and using fire, let me know in the comments because that will be the theme. And guys, keep tapping the screen to like the live. We got a 50K like goal. We're almost there. We are almost there. Yeah, so anyone who's interested in checking out or joining the Candle Magic Workshop series, the link is in my TikTok bio, okay? Um, but who's ready for Sunday? Who's ready for Sunday? Comment ready. Cool, awesome, awesome. All right. Okay. All right, guys. So here we go. Last week, last day of the weekend. Okay. So this will be for September 11th. I just heard have fun, plan something fun, or just have fun, just have fun, like inner child stuff. Uh, I'm getting a lot of inner child energy. If there's like a festival or a carnival or some sort of event outside, maybe you guys are already doing that on Sunday. Anyway, God source universe, divine creator of all things. What do we need to know about Sunday? Six of Pentacles. The Hermit. And the Knight of Pentacles. Death. Okay, Scorpio energy. So we will still be in um, in full moon energy until the 13th, which is Tuesday. Okay, so Sunday, um, Scorpio energy, um, something has to end, all right? So now Scorpio uh, represents a really deep internal transformation. However, like the death card could be like, um, it's your moving day, your moving out day, um, maybe... It's like the final end to something. And Pisces is the last zodiac sign. And the full moon will be in Pisces. Meaning whatever you're putting to bed, guys, Sunday is like it done over with. Okay. So what have you guys been working on putting to bed? All right. Um, I'm getting a lot of intimacy energy. Um, so I, I, lack of um, lack of intimacy, lack of self-acceptance, um, I feel like this is a lot of releasing of internal self-limiting beliefs. Like that's what you're putting to bed. Um, a lot of you guys are putting to bed the comparison game. Okay. Comparing yourself to others. Uh, 
It's a lot of like really deep personal transformation. Also, I feel like you're you're putting a cycle to bed with someone was better than you or someone who acted like they were better than you. Does that make sense? You're putting a cycle to bed. It I'm getting like manipulator energy. Manipulator Maybe narcissistic tendencies, but someone very manipulative. Could be a Scorpio, but doesn't have to be, though. This could also be someone um, who used you or for money or used you for your energy, like took advantage of what you were willing to give. Took advantage of what you were willing to give. Now, this could be a family member, a friend, or a romantic partner. So take what resonates. Um... I feel like, okay, so this is like a more overarching theme, but I feel like on Sunday, you guys are making a choice, a decision through an action to no longer do the conventional, to release the conventional, to do the things you were taught to do growing up, even though they didn't align with who you are. Like this could be beliefs, religion, spirituality, career and the action you're taking the action you're taking six of pentacles the hermit and the knight of pentacles we've got virgo energy in the center Okay. Being very particular about who and what you invest in. If a person, a, a class, a course, a job, anything is not conducive to your spiritual growth, you are no longer entertaining it. You're not investing in bullshit anymore. You're not investing in people that don't give you what you give to them. I feel like also, um, and you guys putting to bed convention, convention, conventionality. Is that how you say it? Conventionality? Convention. I'll just say convention. Um, I feel like maybe you guys are putting resources or investing in becoming a spiritual mentor using your spiritual growth to help others or to work with, invest in a mentor to help you with your own personal transformation. It's like you're finally making the decision because you have the resources. Because remember, Friday, Saturday, there's success, resources, comfortability. Ten of Cups, yeah. Okay, fortune after difficulty. But this has something to do with family. The chariot, again, cancer energy, family, or people who feel like family. What else? Two of cups. Yeah, some of you guys might be um, the moon. Um, maybe, uh, okay, so Sunday could be um, healing a relationship with a mother, whether they're past or here because the death card was there. Um, the moon card, and we will still be in full moon energy on Sunday, so... I feel like there's healing within a relationship that you have with a family member or someone you were in a relationship with that you lived with or may have children with, okay? There's some sort of success in overcoming some sort of family disagreement or domestic disharmony. Um, I feel like you guys are also like... Maybe you guys are moving in with someone, moving in with someone on Sunday. 
Maybe you're like preparing to start a new job on Sunday, celebrating with family. It could just be a family celebration as well. Maybe you're going to a wedding, um, an engagement party, something of a coming together with people. Celebrating the next phase of your life. Six of Swords, guys, we got the Six of Swords three times, okay? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, like, so a lot of you guys are going to family events. Have fun. Have fun. Just enjoy the end of the world. Are you did I not talk about like closing out of cycles for good? The world is the last major arcana. It's the end of the fool's journey in tarot, meaning that it, this is it. Whatever cycle you're closing this weekend with this full moon it is done, dead, over with. Two of swords on the bottom of the deck. Okay. There's an ending of a stalemate. Okay, so if, if you feel like you're at a stalemate with someone or have been confused as to what direction to go, you're going to figure it out on Sunday. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys, a lot of you guys are moving. You're establishing roots somewhere else, somewhere stable, somewhere. I'm telling you guys, a lot of you are going to be moving forward in mastering a new skill, moving, establishing roots somewhere else to clo officially close a chapter. It's like you want to distance yourself from this person or situation a lot. Okay. You feel like physical distance or, um, doing things that are so far apart from what your old belief systems were is the only way to finally cut the cord. The, the world card guys, is a promise of closing out a cycle and stepping into a new cycle of abundance. I'm just looking at the cards again to... Yes, yeah, something that you guys were, okay, so there's a couple other messages here. There's a couple, and not everyone is moving. Guys, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I've got a lot of people in here. Some of you guys are going to invest in something that you were nervous about because you thought it would affect you being able to pay your bill, your family, but that mental strain is going away. You're going to have the resources by Sunday to invest in something that you really want to invest in. Um... The investment could have something to do with working with a spiritual mentor or you learning to become a mentor for other people to help people overcome obstacles and challenges that you have overcome. I feel like hard. you're going to see how your hard work has paid off on Sunday because we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is slow and steady wins the race. Okay. Two of Cups and the world. So... Yeah, things coming to fruition regarding something you've been putting a lot of energy into. Also, could be a, a Taurus Virgo cap or someone who's been very slow to approach you about getting into a relationship. But I feel like a relationship could be starting. And this relationship is soulmate energy. This is long-term, long-lasting. That's for some of you. I'm also hearing don't let your past hold you back. All right, but who's ready for um for oracle clarification, guys? Oracle clarification. And guys, keep tapping the screen to like the live. We're almost at 50k likes. We are so close. We are so close. All right, here we go. Clear Ooh. energy. And then we have cleansing lemon at the bottom. So we have two citrus fruits. Okay, so some of you guys may want to eat more citrus um, on Sunday. Please, if you take medication, please review that. If you're on certain medications, you should not be eating citrus fruits. All right, um, so that's card number 28. Let's see. 
Oracle clarification, it's clarification of the tarot cards through Oracle, additional messages. Okay, ha. Adventure and rapid progress are indicated and it is specifically anchored to your true purpose and the direction you are currently taking. Oranges indicate that anything is possible, although you need to get that willpower working hard. There will be challenges, but you can overcome them, and someone around you may need extra support at this time. Be wary of lack of gratitude or losing interest too soon before giving something a chance and of negativity. The themes of this card are wealth, divination, love, luck, and willpower. What are you guys putting energy toward? What do you guys feel like you're putting your energy toward or you're being drawn to put your energy toward? <gasps> what the hell are you waiting for? If you get that shit done... If you are waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you are waiting for a sign here, well, here it is.